In video number 275 I complained about the heat of the new Raspberry Pi 4. I was not the only one. Then I saw this innovative case and thought I give it a try. Another rant video? Rietzi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe you will always sit in the first row. Heat is the enemy of all electronic devices because it destroys the delicate structures inside our gadgets. This is why all datasheets show a maximal operating temperature for a part. The optimum temperature for longevity is much lower. I have a simple rule. If I cannot touch something for a few seconds, it runs too hot. Modern processors even have a self-defense system which throttles the CPU speed at a particular temperature. For the raspberries, this is around 80 degrees centigrade. I have here one of my Raspberry Pi 4 as a home server in a 3D case printed in video number 275. It runs the usual stack. Mosquito, Node-RED, InfluxDB and Grafana. Let's check the temperature. The CPU and the GPU both run at more than 70 degrees centigrade. Just a few degrees below the self-defense line. So we need a solution. We have the choice between active and passive cooling. Active cooling with a fan heavily depends on the quality of the fan. It is either expensive or loud. In video number 131 I tried to find a compromise by using a cheap fan which only runs when needed and usually not at full speed. Passive cooling with heat sinks usually does not work very well on the raspberries. Fortunately I saw a FLIRC advertising. They use the whole case to cool the raspberries. I thought I have to try this innovative idea and pre-ordered a case. An additional feature caught my eye. This case is made of aluminum, a nice change to all the plastic I have in my lab. When it was delivered, I immediately installed one of my new Raspberry Pi 4s into the case. I did not film it because I did not plan a video about it. But it is straightforward. Apply a heat dissipation sticker to your CPU and insert the Pi into the case. The case contacts the CPU and the idea is that this part should transfer the heat to the overall case. As the last step you close the case and insert the four screws. Done. I have to admit I was not convinced that this works. A closer look at the case reveals that you still can access the SD card and the connectors and you still see the LED if you want. If you plan to use the pin header, you have to mount a 40 pin ribbon cable before you insert the Pi. There is a small space on the bottom where it can exit. Probably not nice looking, but I want the device for my lab server and do not need the ribbon cable. Now we want to test the thing and compare it with my other Pi which is mounted in this 3D printed case. You immediately see a difference. The FLIRC case is better looking. I prepared two tests with two raspberries in parallel. The Pi in the FLIRC case is a 4GB version and the one in the 3D case is a 1GB version. These are the tests. First as a server in my lab. I cloned the SD card of my IoT server called Hub using Pi clone and this SD adapter and changed the host name of this Pi to FLIRC. The second test is fully loaded or pedal to the metal as the Americans say. I use instructions from Core Electronics and a program called Stress to fully load all four cores. Let's start with test number one. Both Pis are used as a lab server running the home server stuff mentioned before. If we check the CPU load, we see that mainly Chronograph uses one CPU. The other CPUs run nearly idle. In a second terminal, I measure the CPU and the GPU temperature using a script showed here. 
both temperatures are nearly the same. After a while, the temperatures settle at around 77 degrees centigrade. This is quite hot for a server which runs 24 by 7. Let's now do the same with the Pi in the Flerk case. Here you see the nearly 4 GB of memory. The same applies here, only one CPU is used. And the temperature? 54 degrees. 24 degrees less than the other case. This is really cool. Let's have a look at the two cases using the FLIR camera. The aluminum case has a quite even heat distribution and its temperature is around 40 degrees. The plastic case on the other hand has uneven temperatures. Around the opening we see nearly 60 degrees and on this cool spot only 35 degrees. So the concept of using a metal case seems to work. Now test number two. Pedal to the metal. I use the test method described by Core Electronics adjusted to the A7 CPU. This test script has a built-in temperature display and really all four CPUs are used to 100%. The temperature immediately increases and passes the 80 degrees. Then throttling starts and reduces the CPU frequency. The temperature stabilizes at around 83 degrees. Good news is the self-defense works. But still, I stop the test because a pie is too expensive to kill. Now the pie in the Flerk case. Its CPUs also work hard and the temperature starts to increase. But because it has much more reserves, no throttling appears. I ran the test for the full 900 seconds or 15 minutes. The CPU temperature settled at around 64 degrees and no throttling was necessary. The case itself has roughly the same temperatures as in test 1. By the way, the room temperature during the tests was about 24 degrees. Summarized, the FLIRC concept works. The temperatures for my server will be in the 50 degrees and even on the full load, no throttling will happen, also in hot countries. No fan noise will disturb my voice recording. The price of the FLIRC case currently is $11.20. This is very reasonable if we compare it with the original plastic case, which costs $6. Unfortunately, shipment to Switzerland is more expensive than the case itself. Flerk sells the case for the Raspberry Pi 3 on Amazon, so maybe we will be able to buy it also there when they have enough available. Definitely this is the best case for a Raspberry Pi 4. It should become the official case in my opinion. I hope this quickie was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.